Hello everyone, Tina here. Welcome to Photo Play's YouTube channel and welcome to Tuesdays with Tina. My name is Tina Smith and I'm super excited to share a project with you. With Military Month just around the corner in May, it's actually Military Appreciation Month, I thought this brave collection is perfect to create a thank you card for, um, for all those brave soldiers out there. Let's jump in and create a card. We're going to start by taking some pattern papers. Um, I do want to say that I am going to bring in the Brave Ephemera Pack. I think there's a few elements in here that are actually all of the elements in here are pretty fabulous. And I thought we'd put, add a few on our card today. So let's take some pattern papers. The pattern papers that I'm going to be using today, I always choose, seems like I always choose three, but I love the print. This is called Code Talk. Charlie Alpha Delta. <laughs> Definitely code talk because I have no idea what that means. <laughs> and then we have some beautiful stars. They have a little bit of a distressed look to them. This is called Brave. The Brave. And the reason I'm telling you the names of the sheets is because I'm pretty sure that these are sold individually at your favorite craft store. Um, this is Military Plaid. So these three pattern papers I already trimmed down into six by six panels. I'm going to bring them in and um, we're going to do a little bit of die cutting also. For my card today, I trimmed these down to 6x6 six six panels and I am going to take some white cardstock. We're going to be using the nested pennant die set and I'm going to create a background with one of my pennants and then I'm also going to create a frame with this pattern paper. So I'm going to take the largest and then one that's slightly smaller and I'm going to create a frame with it. Now I have some star dies in my stash and I'm going to take this corrugated cardstock and I want some stars, a little bit of texture on my cards, so I'm going to die cut out three stars with this. With these two pattern papers we're going to trim down too. So I have a little bit of die cutting to do. I'm going to run these through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. Everything is die cut. I have a frame we created with that um, avocado colored pattern paper and then I have a background. And then I have my stars cut out. I love the texture that this adds. And then I have, I did pick a couple pieces of my um, ephemera from my ephemera pack. And then I have two panels that I created. This panel here measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then this is slightly smaller at three and a half inches by four and three quarters. We're going to mat both of these together and we're going to adhere it to our, the front of our card. I layered both of my panels together and then what we're going to do is take our frame I'm gonna punch out. This is actually a tag. Um, for this tag here with our ephemera, I'm going to bring in a silver eyelet and I'm going to secure that. I love metal on masculine cards. I'm just going to secure that eyelet right on that tag. Although this doesn't have to necessarily be masculine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this paper around. I'm going to add some adhesive and then we're going to do a little bit of tucking. I love doing this with frames. And I'm going to add a little adhesive over here. So some of it's on the tucked on the inside and some of it's tucked on the outside. And I'm going to add this also. For a little bit of added dimension, I'm going to flip this panel over and then we're going to take um, some foam tape and add it all around the edges. I went ahead and put foam adhesive behind my, my banner here and I removed the release paper. But before we adhere it to our background, I'm going to add a little bit, we're going to do a little bit of distressing around the edges. I'm going to bring in some brown ink and just using a blending tool, I'm going to add a little bit of texture. For the most part, it's going to be covered, but I just want to add a little bit of color. Now I'm also going to take the same brown ink and I'm going to go over some of the stars that we created. I 
I'm not worried about it being real smooth because for the most part, again, it'll be covered. I'm going to take this frame. We're going to add it right over the top. Wonderful. So you can see that brown just peeking out just a little bit. Now, I always mention that I like texture on my cards, but I'm going to bring in um, this little chain. And this is going to go over that tag. We're going to add the chain to our tag. Just love the way the metal looks on the card. And of course, this is going to add bulk when you mail, so you could completely skip this step if you wanted to. Now with our stars, I do want to add a little metal texture to that. So I'm going to punch a hole. Um, I probably should use a craft pick. I'm going to punch a hole right in the middle. As, as middle as I can get. <laughs> Wonderful. So now we have holes in all of these. I have silver brads that will go nicely with the chain. And I don't think I got this centered too well, but I'm going to be doing some tucking with it. So I think I can get away with it. Oh, I guess it's pretty centered. Depending on which way you put it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add silver brads to each one of these. So now we have a little bit more texture. And then I'm going to take this panel. I'm going to flip this around. We're going to add some adhesive behind it. And I'm going to tack this down to the front of my card here. We're going to center this on that star panel. I put foam tape behind the star. We're going to go ahead and replace it over the star that's on the tag. I'm going to add a foam square behind this larger star. And I thought I would tuck it, but I think I can... I think that bottom corner looks nice. And then I put a foam, small foam square behind this star also. And we will go ahead and add that to our card. at the very top. Lastly, I'm going to bring in my sparkle pen and I am going to add a little bit of sparkle over this ephemera. And then that will finish off my card project today. Today we used the Brave 12 by 12 collection pack and we create a um, thank you for your service card. I know with May being Military Appreciation Month, I think this is perfect timing for that. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.